Welcome to Bentex Assembly Rotational Setback Guide. This video will show you how to take a part from an assembly and rotate it before placing it back into the design and receiving cutting and bending information. To give an example of how to rotate a part in your design, I'll be using a template from our Armor Pack Templates module. With the project selected, we can transfer it out to the assembly designer in order to access the rotate tool. It should be noted that the rotation function can be used with any part on any assembly as long as it's in the assembly interface. For our purposes, we can simply enter the parts into the design directly. In the assembly interface, we can select the part we're going to be working on from the parts list located in the main tab. Then, we'll select the rotate button from below to enter the proper information to rotate our part. First, we need to select an axis to rotate around. In this case, setting the grab handle backwards, we will need to select the Y left and right axis to rotate around. Now, entering a value into the rotation amount field, we can see that a positive number will rotate the top of the part forward, and a negative number will set the rotation backwards. When we're satisfied with the rotation amount, we can click the Apply Current Rotation button, followed by the Submit button, to place the part in the design with its new rotation. And the Close button will close the window. With the newly rotated part in the design, all we have to do is put it in the place of our old part. First, we'll switch to the Pick Points tab in order to create a few points that we can attach our part to. To place points on the ends of the previous part, simply leave the Pick Points fields blank Hold the shift button on your keyboard and click on the points with your mouse. Then remove the old part from the design by using the delete button from above as seen here. Afterward, we must move the rotated part to its new location. So switch to the edit tab and select the move part button. Now select the part we want to move followed by an anchor point that we want to drag it by and click the new location to place the part there. Finally, when the part is where we want it, we'll need to generate the cuts to accommodate the changes we've made. So head to the Cutting tab and create them as seen here. With the new cuts performed, you can see their profiles close up and even check the cutting wrapper in the Details section below. From here, you can print out the wrapper and close the window. In the Parts tab, you can then select the part you'd like to manufacture and send it out to a single part designer to see it on its own and to access the full bending instructions, including the cut length, bend locations, rotations, angles, and spring angles. Thank you for watching this Assembly Rotational Setback Guide. For further information on your product and its capabilities, please feel free to call us at our office or email us at support at ben-tech.com.